What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the customization of the latest Evolution X ROM. The version of this Evolution X ROM here is 5.9.1 Infinity official build. I've already made the full review of this particular ROM. You can check that out from the cards right there or in the description. So right now let me just jump into the Evolver settings where I'll get all the customizations to show you guys. So first let's jump into the themes and this is how it looks like. Here you get the lock screen clock styles and as you can see you get the plethora of options for the lock screen clocks. You have the stick attack, shape shift, one plus roman, numbers and the MNML ID etc. Fluid version 1, version 2 both are there. Also we have the Samsung Volt, Samsung Highlight and the typographic new center etc. And all of these clocks are there for the lock screen. Also we get 3 Android 12 clocks. One is this Android 12, then the Android S and the Android S DP3. Well, this Android 12 and DP3 both are a little smaller, but this Android S style clock is this one. And it looks amazing in the always on display as you can see. So yeah, you get this big kind of lock screen clock font. The lock screen looks beautiful on this particular ROM because of this latest lock screen clock of Android 12, which you can get with this Android S style clock. And we have the show status of the weather and stuff. Then we have the dark theme option and you can schedule that if you want to. And accent color, we have this accent color picker option. Also, there are accent color presets. I have been using it with the Evolution X Blue, but you can use it with any one of these presets. Let me tell you, once you choose an accent color from this picker, this panel goes away. So you have to reset it to actually get this preset option. If you have changed the accent color picker. Now, let me show you the font style and you get plethora of fonts over here for the whole UI. And just notice how many fonts are there. These options just do not end. Huge amount of font customizations are there from Expedia to Google's own font, then the OnePlus font and stuff. Huge options again are there for the whole UI fonts. Then we have the icon shapes and you get again plethora of icon shapes. Then we have the icon packs. You can choose from these many options. Then we have the settings dashboard icon style. Then the switch style, you can also change. This is for the toggle styles, as you can see. I have been using it with the Android 12. That's why it looks like this. But you can choose from these many options, as you can see. There is also the oxygen waste retro material design too, etc. The volume panels, you can also change. And I have been using it with the MIUI option. So it looks like this. And of course, the volume panel is very customizable over here. So you can go with any option from here. And show app volume is also there. Let me scroll down. We have the custom header option then the brightness slider style. I have been using it with the Android 12 style, but you can of course go with REY or the AOSP or the Oxygen OS style or the default one if you want to. Then we have the quick setting tile disco and we have the quick setting tile styles and you can also change these styles if you want to. Then also the tint you can actually customize. Right now I have been using it with the Android 12 tint. That's why even the turned off toggles had some tint. And right now you can also change it to Oxygen OS. So if you change that, let me show you. This is how it will look like. Of course, you can also change that to accent color or default as you would like it. Background alpha of the quick setting panel you can also change. Let me go back from here. And in the status bar, we have the network traffic indicator then the clock at date customization. And of course, you can thoroughly customize this clock position and stuff. Then the AM PM style, the date also you can enable over here. You can also enable the seconds. So yeah, a lot of options again with the clock and date. And the battery bar, of course, you can enable and customize too. Then we have the status bar lyric feature if you want to enable that. And the battery indicator is also there and you can customize between these many battery styles. I have been using it with the icon portrait and this is how the icon portrait will look. But you can of course go with the dotted circle or something if you want to use that. Then we have the battery percentage. You can have it next to the icon or inside the icon or you can totally hide it. Battery percentage when charging is also there. Let me go to the system icons and here we have the headset, faulty, etc. icons. You can enable or disable from here. Also, we have the 4G instead of LTE roaming indicator, etc. options. Let me go to the notifications here. We have the notification ticker and we have the heads up enabling option and you can customize that too. Artwork, media, background and stuff is there. We have the notification headers. Let me scroll down. We have the notification light and from here we also have the battery charging light in do not disturb mode as well. And the edge lighting is working perfectly fine and I have these things enabled. You can follow these and of course I have been using it with the light pulse color set to notification. So it will depend on the app's color for the notification. It does do that kind of animation when from both sides whenever I'm receiving a notification. And we have the edge lighting repeat count and stuff and blink flashlight for incoming call option is also there. It is like a MIUI feature. 
Let me go back and in the quick settings panel, we have the quick pull down and smart pull down both and you can customize them too. Vibrate on toggle touch for the quick setting panel is there. Column and row number customizations are also there. Then we have the show quick setting tile titles. Let me scroll down. We have the quick setting slider and the brightness slider. You can have it on the bottom or top or you can hide it totally. Or we have the move slider to bottom when expanded option. And for with that, as you can see, the brightness slider right now is on the bottom. So this is very handy. And we have the data usage visibility, then the battery percentage and the battery estimate and stuff for the quick setting. And the footer text and edit icon is also there. You can enable or disable them. In the power menu options, we have this system settings. And over here, you get the cards and stuff. Then we have the advanced reboot. And of course, the advanced reboot is working flawlessly over here, as you can see. Let me go back. We have the hide on lock screen option. So if you don't want the power menu to appear on the lock screen, you can totally use that. If you're someone who is afraid when the device is locked, it will get stolen. So someone can simply not power off the device without putting your pin. Power menu opacity is also there. Let me go back in the gestures. And here in the gesture settings, we have the system settings. And again, we have all these gestures like the swipe break screenshot. Also, these gesture navigation and stuff is also there. Let me go back. These things you get also in the system panel. So I'm just going back. The brightness control and long press power button toggle torch is there. So here, as you can see, the brightness control by just sliding a finger on the status bar is working flawlessly. And you can definitely use this feature if you want to. It works amazingly well. And the long press power button toggle torch is also working fine here when the device is locked. Now, let me go into the lock screen here. We have the always on display scheduling option. So you can schedule it like these options are present. Let me go back. Also, we have the fingerprint error vibration or the indication vibration. Also, we have the animated icons and you can also change the animation of the fingerprint scanner appearing. You can have it on MIUI, one UI one, one UI two. Also the oxygen OS option. And this is the animation as you can see in the always on display. This is the animation that it will appear with. And here we have these fingerprint icons. But of course, if you're using the fingerprint scanner animated FOD, then the fingerprint icons will not work. Let me scroll down. We have the fingerprint pressed color. By default, it is set to white, but you can also change it to cyan, green, yellow, light, yellow, etc. And the FOD on doze option is there. The recognizing animation, you can also enable it. And you get all of this fingerprint scanner animation, including the Cyberpunk 2077. I have been using it with the McLaren one, but you can also go with any kind of fingerprint scanner animation. All of these options work super fine with the fingerprint scanner animation whenever you are unlocking. And the lock screen background blur is there, status bar and lock icon, you can enable or disable. The charging animation is also there. There is a music visualizer for the lock screen and the media artwork style. Then in the buttons, we have the navigation bar. And from here again, we have the system navigation gestures. Volume rocker wake is there and the reorient option is there for the volume keys. And the show volume panel on the left side is there. Click to take partial screenshot is also there. In the animations, we have the disable transition option. So that will disable the whole UI animation. And we have the screen of animation too. And there you can choose it to CRT or scale or default. Then we have the back gesture animation or the charging animation as well. And we have the scrolling cast and the animated style and stuff. You can change it. And the interpolator, you can also change that for the quick setting style animation. In the mix settings, things get a lot more interesting because here we get the gaming mode. So you can enable it for particular games if you want to. Then we have the screenshot settings. And of course, you have the screenshot quality customization and stuff. And the screenshot is working totally fine. As you can see, there is a share, scroll, delete and edit options. So that works perfectly fine. And the launch music app on headset connection is there and you can use it if you want to. And the customized rounded corners are there. So if you're not happy with the like rounded corners over here in the whole UI, you can actually change those. So if you change this rounded style for settings dialog, as you can see to extreme, this is how it will look like on the four corners. If you're noticing on this dialog box and everywhere in the UI, it will show up just like this, as you can see right now. Let me go back. We have the force brightness values for the ambient display. You can actually customize it if you want to. Then if you scroll down, we have the wake lock blocker and stuff. Then we have the USB configuration. This is very convenient. I use this with the file transfer option and we have the where to play ringtone from and stuff. And if you go into the about section over here in the customization panel, you get to see the developer's name and stuff. And of course, you can donate to the developers over here. So those are all the customizations of the Evolution X ROM. Let me in the comments, what do you guys think? And if you haven't watched the full review of the Evolution X ROM 5.9.1 latest build, you can check it out from the description again. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Share this video with your friends if you want them to know about the Evolution X ROM's customization on the K20 Pro. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today, and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.